Well, today we're going to try to fix my trusty old 2012 iMac. A few days ago we did a live stream. I plugged in a powered USB hub and for whatever the reason when I plugged it in it arced, made a big snap sound and the computer was dead. So during the stream on Sunday I took the screen off. It's just taped on here temporarily and we pulled the power supply out, kind of looked it over. It smelled kind of funny but it doesn't seem like it's getting any power. We also pulled the logic board out. Couldn't see any evidence of any damage but again I don't have a microscope so I was just looking at it the best I could using my iPhone on magnify and everything looks fine. So I'm hoping it's just a power supply. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this apart again, just take the screen off. I got a new power supply for it and I'm going to put it in and see if this makes it come back to life. And if that doesn't do it, then unfortunately it'll be the logic board and I'll have to hunt up for logic board. Okay, so we're going to take the tape off of this and I'm going to take the screen off very carefully. And then what we're going to do is we're going to take and remove the old power supply, put the new one in, and we'll cross our fingers and we'll hope that that fixes the problem. Alright, so we're going to finish untaping the screen here. Now, I did take the time to remove most of the adhesive off of it. And hopefully it will come up. There were still a little air, couple areas that were a little tacky, but I got most of the old tape off of it there. So I'm just going to be real careful here. I do not want to break this screen. These things are so expensive. Here we go. Good. So it's going to come off here. And I'm going to just lean this forward here. None of the cables are hooked on it. So I'm going to take that off real carefully here. I'm going to sit this out of the way so it does not get broken. This is the old power supply there. Logic board. So this is what we're going to change out, and obviously I've got the, the fan off of it here. I'm just going to see if it'll chime when I put the power supply back in it. So I'm going to take that out and put the new one in here. Okay, so we got the old power supply out here, and even this thing being off for several days, you want to make sure to be very careful. You don't want to touch that side of it. You could get zapped really bad. But again, uh, it smells funny. Uh, we did some voltage checks during the stream, but I got absolutely nothing up there. So that's very disconcerting. So anyway, let's get the new one out and in the computer. So here's the new one. It's uh, all wrapped up here in a static bag. Let's take it out. Supposed to be a 300 watt. That's the upgraded one. It's like the one that I actually replaced this machine with. I did that uh, about three years ago when I got this machine. It didn't work. It would work for a little bit and then it would turn itself off. So we bought a new power supply. It had the 185 watt in it. But now uh, we had put the uh, 300 watt in it. So anyway, this is from a different manufacturer. But this is supposed to be a direct replacement for here. So here's the replacement one. Here's the... This is the one that went bad, and you can see uh, they look pretty much identical here. Uh, try to get them in front there. They look pretty much identical. So yeah, so we'll uh, put this in, hook it up, and let's hope that it works. That would be an easy fix if it does. And I'd like to thank our channel sponsor, PCBWay. PCBWay can do a host of different things for you. They've been a sponsor of my channel for almost two years now, and I greatly appreciate them. But go to their website. They can do many things. My gosh, they keep adding products and services. They do all kinds of cool stuff, but they do all kinds of things like 3D printing, CNC machining, all type of different varieties of circuit boards. They do all kinds of kits. They always have projects and things going on all the time. So please do yourself a favor, go to pcbway.com and I know they can do something for you. 
All right, so we got the new uh, power supply in there. Zoom in a little bit there. And that's new one. Like I said, it looks just like the uh, the one that we took out. It's the, the same brand there. Hold it up here. We can see this is the, uh, see the brand name on it there. Of course, they're made in China. Light, that's the name of it there. So we're going to, plug it in and see if we get a boot chime now the fans not plugged in on it uh, but everything else is hooked up uh, we don't need to monitor for this thing to boot up so it should boot just fine if that is the issue and i'm really hoping that it is so we will uh, find out here in a moment let me get this plugged in all right hey we have logic lights that's a good sign uh we didn't have that before oh great it booted up nice all right so i'm gonna hold on the button here to power it off here because we don't have a fan hook to it here well fast forward one week we got this machine to boot up, but we have no display. And it took me two power supplies to get it to work. The one I got must have been a bad one because one of the wires was missing on it. So I ordered another one, got it, put it in, the machine boots up, but I have no video. So since then, uh, my good friend Garth Beagle, uh, he graciously uh, sent me a 2015 iMac. Um, very generous of him. I helped pay the shipping on it, and that works fine. But my hopes is getting this one re-resurrected so I can use it. Now, I do have video on the big screen right up there. So that tells me that the graphics card's working in it. So I don't know what happened when that got zapped, if it damaged the monitor or if it damaged something on the board that's not letting the monitor power up itself. But we are getting video out. So what I'm gonna do is, uh, and I do have it on order, I have another Logic board on order. And that actually has an i7 processor in it. So we will swap it out. But in the meantime, I'm going to uh, just make sure the connectors are okay. I don't see anything wrong with them. Um, I unplugged them. I plugged them back in again. Still no video. So I'm not sure what the issue is. So I'm going to replace the logic board because there could be something wrong with the logic board. Maybe something going that connector got fried. I don't know. So anyway, that's going to end it for today's video. There's going to be a part two on it to see if we can uh, get this thing uh, working again because I would like to just use it for my uh, streaming computer. So until next time, uh, please like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.